Welcome back, everybody. So popping some bubbly is always a great way to mark very special celebrations. And while we think that champagne is the top tier in that realm, it really is just sparkling wine. So here with some great ideas on how to toast with some sparkling for a fraction of the cost of champagne, it is Natalie McLean. You know her as the one who has the most popular online wine classes. Natalie, this is gonna be one of our favorite segments of the year, I have a feeling. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you both. Mel Laney, cheers to the season. Cheers. Oh yeah, okay. Natalie, <laughs> we know that uh, in order for sparkling wine to be called champagne, it has to come from the Champagne region of France, or as Mel would say, Champagne. Anyway, Boy. we know that, but what are the characteristics of sparkling wine in general? So you're right. Champagne comes from the Champagne region, although all regions in France make bubblies, and so do many other countries around the world. And so the, the big difference is really, aside from region, our climate. So new world countries like Canada and the US are a bit warmer, so they're going to be a bit fruitier uh, in taste than say champagne. But regardless of where these wines come from, um, you know, champagne comes or sparkling wine, I should say, comes in a range of styles. So that it's often labeled from really dry called extra brute and brute comes from when the British, who were used to sweet bubblies, used to say when they first got the dry stuff, ooh, that's brutal. Um, so extra brute is extra dry. I know, but anyway. <laughs> so you go on a range <laughs> to sec, which is sweet, you know, demi sec, extra sec, all the way to do, which is really sweet. So there's, there's a style for everyone, everyone's taste. Well, my taste buds are ready. And we're going to start with some Canadian bubblies because we make some great sparkling here. So what have you brought for us? Okay. Well, what I have is a Chateau de Charme Blanc de Blanc, which means white wine made from white grapes. It's a hundred percent Chardonnay. It's from Niagara on the Lake. It's absolutely lovely and frothy and creamy. What you have is also from Niagara on the Lake. It is the Peller Estate Cuvée Rosé Sparkling. So it's a mouthful, but it's also a mouthful to drink, which is beautiful because it's just got an extra touch of sweetness. Mmm, lovely, mm. eh? And you know that sweetness comes from a dosage or a little splash of ice wine, Cabernet ice wine. So that gives it the sort of raspberry notes that tickle your nose and for that extra fun feeling and smell. So you liking it? Oh, I love mm, it. I really smell love it. And I like the color. Like yes. you said, it was a rosé and it has such a warm color to it. Natalie, I think this sounds so basic, but why do we drink sparkling and champagne out of flutes? Well, flutes um, preserve the bubbles. So that's the longer glass, if you will, and you folks have them there as well. So that sort of liquid pearls uh, that that is unique to sparkling wine. Uh, we're trying to preserve that in the flutes. Now, traditionally, bubbly was served in saucer-shaped coupes, which were modeled or molded after Marie Antoinette's breasts. <laughs> but ironically, or whatever, oddly, they let bubbly go flat. So we've switched to flutes mm. to preserve that. <laughs> you know. But the flutes preserve the bubbles. But more and more, including um, wine lovers like myself, we're, we're veering toward white wine glasses too, because you can swirl and sniff the bubbly a little bit better than you can in a flute glass. Let's move on to some bubbly from other regions. So Prosecco is sparkling wine from Italy. What distinguishes it? So this is um, dry and fresh and crisp. It's got a few floral notes, some lime citrus. It's beautiful. It comes from the northeastern region of Italy. This one is, is extra frothy. Uh, I've brought fully sparkling Prosecco, which is Spamonte, which is two thirds of Proseccos are fully sparkling, but they've got one third that are made uh, and they call them frizzante. So just a little bit of fizz. What's great about both Proseccos uh, that we have is that they're only about $18. So we're talking a fraction of the cost of champagne. Entry-level champagne starts at about $60. You really can pour like Santa and save like Scrooge this holiday season with these bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you have any tips then for opening uh, sparkling wine bottles because some people are kind of intimidated, right? So opening a bottle of bubbly takes a special twist, literally, because the pressure inside a bottle of bubbles, 
no matter what, where it's from, is equal to the pressure inside city bus tires. So about 90 pounds per square inch, ah. not, <laughs> not to make you nervous or anything, but you want to do this right because you don't want to take out, you know, a couple of tree ornaments or an eye or anything like that. So you lift the, the mushroom cork, the big cork, you don't need a corkscrew. Um, you're going to grip that. You're not going to twist the cork. You're going to twist the bottom of the bottle and you're going to let the natural pressure inside the bottle gently ease out the cork. That's great. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to be subtle. It's not working. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so you don't want to lose all the bubbly, right? We want to do it slowly. Oh. So then you pour and, you know, you can tip the glass as Lainey is doing because you're going to have a bit of a mousse, which is always lovely. Ooh, very different than our Canadian friend. Absolutely. Oh, it is different. Absolutely. It's a lot lighter. It's, it's, it's buttery too, though. As we continue our journey through Europe, let us stop in Spain. That is the home mm -hmm. of the sparkling wine there called Cava, which I am in love with. What is so special <laughs> about Cava? So yes, Cava means cave or cellar in Spanish, uh, Mel. And it lovely, lovely bubblies. Um, again, affordably priced. These are only about $15. And what I find with Cava is that it has all of the effervescence and refreshment of sparkling wine, champagne, but it's got a very earthy flavor and tone like toasted almonds. Um, so I've got two for you here. Um, the first one is La Conche uh, Cava. And the one that you folks have is Segura. They're both superbly well-made. And again, it's, it's hard to beat the value for these bubblies around the holiday. Okay, so Natalie, you taught us like the basic way to open a bottle of sparkling, but then there's a more dramatic way we can do it. And it's the holiday, so why not get as festive as possible? Yes, there be wine pirates. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got a saber, but a kitchen knife will do just as well. And I believe you both have um, your handy dandy kitchen knife there. So savoring, um, again, we need to do this properly and not take out any ornaments or eyes, but you want the bottle cold. You're gonna do as you're doing right now. You're gonna remove the foil, all of the foil and the um, cage that's on the large cork. Now what we're doing here is not so much slicing off the top, although we're going to use our knives, as we're hitting the structurally weakest point of the bottle. So you're feeling around for the seam, the long seam on the bottle. There's two, one on each side. And right up to the neck of the bottle, right where that seam meets the neck of the bottle is structurally the weakest point of it. So you're gonna put your thumb in the punt or the indent on the bottom of the bottle, hold it with the rest of your fingers, well out of the way of that knife. And you've got the seam, you felt it, you know where it is with your fingers. We're actually going to use the dull side of the knife, the wide side of the knife, not the sharp side of the knife, because we are just going to hit it, hit that weak part um, with force. So what I'm going to do, and hopefully this will work, this is as live action as wine gets, folks. You know, <laughs> cooking jobs have steaks that sizzle. We in the wine world have corks that pop and sabers. So here we go. We're going to do a practice run of three times just going up, we don't need a big wind up, but the, the time you go for it, you want to hit it with force. So we're angling it away, away from everything. <laughs> and let's see how this goes. There we go. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that, was that was so great. good. That was so, that was so good. good. <laughs> Lainey, do you want to do this together? Yes. All right. Okay, okay ready? One, All right, two. safely. Thank you so, so much for all of these amazing sparkling wines. We're going to put them all up on our website after the show as well. To both of you ladies, to everyone watching, cheers to the holiday season. We'll be back after this. Cheers. <laughs>